Well, just we had a massive, big, boring kind of grey wall. We just wanted to, you know, make it look a little bit nicer for the community. The council were very responsive and really easy to work with, and uh, yeah, it's been great. The process for designing the mural was uh, firstly doing research based on the history of the place, referencing icons of, of the area and historical events, photo collage to begin with, combine with some sketching and combine that and then start to refine it, add colour at the end. The thing about his proposal was it was, it's, it's sort of a bit fun, it's got a dreamlike kind of quality, doesn't it? I think it's really positive, his stuff. Straight away, as soon as I saw it, I liked it. Just sort of thinking of movement and sort of conveying movement, having that flowing line through the whole piece was important. And then also, I guess, the way that memories are a bit fragmented or hazy or abstract, collaged together, I sort of wanted that sort of effect as well. So you've got the, the clock tower, which is a local Ringwood icon, which is also a war, war memorial. And I really like that, the idea of that, because it also represents time, sort of referencing history here, so it's about time, and kind of time moving, the development of the area, and the train line coming here. It looks like it's sort of flowing along with everything, and it's, the area was also a big uh, fruit orchard area, a big apple and a big pear, that bookending the piece. Then uh, some native flora and fauna in the form of the yellow cowslip flowers and the uh, blue native violets. This spotted part of is perched on an antimony crystal and that represents a since shut down mine that for a long time employed a lot of the, the people from the area and the surrounding area. The characters that feature in a lot of my murals, if not most of my murals, they're called soliloquins and they've kind of evolved to sort of take on a bit of a meaning over time. Uh, first I was just sort of a random character I was, that I did in an illustration here or there and taken on a bit of meaning like guardians of nature or um, sort of sources of creative inspiration. That, magical beings but they're sort of also human in a way it's sort of always on a quest searching to so sort of, I guess embody like maybe the best best parts of humanity in a way. This whole mural was painted with roller extension poles. It's a new thing, sort of new things are always a bit exciting and it was sort of a fun thing at the end that sort of really flowed. So just yeah you put the extension pole and the brush on the end. Just being able to just put a nice big bold outline around everything that was definitely <laughs> the icing on the cake. It really adds to the sort of urban landscape, doesn't it? You know, when you have a bit more colour, a bit more vibrancy. So uh, I think, it, I actually think it's really important. I think it gives character to the to the streetscape. You do get so many people walking past saying, oh, it's really changed the space and appreciating that it's no longer just a blank kind of dreary wall and it's not quite so cold and brutal looking, it's colourful, I guess. Yeah, my hope is that, that brightens people's day, I guess, a bit, and perhaps inspires other people creatively, or whether that's murals or, you know, it's just something, something creative.